Um, what about the limited creative latitude that some PDs will allow you to have? How can a guy yeah. send you an air check? I they, think. Go yeah, ahead. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, and 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 you know, I'd. I would be happy plucking somebody off the street who has talent and ability. Unfortunately, it's tough to showcase it unless you've had a few years' experience kind of honing it, you know? Okay. So what I'm trying to, what I'm thinking about doing, I'm trying to uh, talk uh, Greg and Jim into maybe just taking out an ad in, in a couple of the trade papers uh, and oh, just okay. saying, and, and making it real intimidating, like, we don't even <laughs> want to hear from you unless you, you know, think of some... I don't know what, Gary. You know, think of some so, criteria, like, you know, unless you can think for yourself. So scare away anybody except, except somebody who's going to really be um, secure enough with his or her talent to send in the tape and yeah. see how that goes. Because, uh, you know, we're getting too many tapes from people that shouldn't be sending tapes. So, so I thought if we put something really intimidating in, like, we don't want to hear from you unless you can do yeah. this and that and this and that and believe in this and that. that don't even waste our time. Because time and temperature and, jocks yeah, need not apply. How about coming along with a bushel basket full of uh, existing sponsors already? Well, that kind of doesn't work, okay. really. I mean, unless it's somebody from Chicago, but we pretty much have all of them. You know? Up to this point, have you just been uh, making news of this uh, vacancy available in the uh, over the air, or you haven't run ads yet? We haven't. I don't know. I don't think we've really done anything. We've been racking our brains talking to people we know in the business asking them to suggest people and we haven't found anybody so i thought maybe like a real intimidating ad the kind that would inspire me to go hey i can do that i'm going to show these guys that i can go there and kick some ass mm -hmm. that kind of ad and see what happens because i don't know how else can we do it we can't get a tape from everybody that listens to us which we're starting to do now mm -hmm. and we can't sure. get a tape from everybody in radio so i figured that's the best way because we also can't travel around the country listening because we have to be here every day Okay. And yeah, I don't point. think there's anybody here in town that we we really want. Oh, so, sure, sure. I mean, that we know of at this point. Yeah. Another quick so, one. If you yeah. had a chance to review one of your air checks from your first days in Chicago at DAI, or I guess when you came from Detroit, mm -hmm. do you think you'd hire yourself now based on what you sounded like then? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I think maybe. I think... I think you know there you, you have to be here you have to listen for a certain spark you know and mm -hmm. the rest of it you can you can make happen and I think by the time I came here I was honed well enough that uh, well obviously I mean it, it worked right Well listen I, so. I have to give you credit for being uh, very finely honed to this point All right now it's getting a little personal <laughs> it's a hono club <laughs> I don't know you know that's a good question I think I I would but then who knows you know mm -hmm. but I I mean I think I had I mean, I think you can tell, even though I don't like listening to those old tapes, I think there, there's something there. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. And most of the tapes we're getting, I mean, they, they have no, there's nothing there. Uh -huh. so. Okay, hey, listen, it's been a real treat talking to and you. I don't, and I also don't know that we want to spend the time teaching somebody how to polish their act and all that. I think it, oh, So sure. maybe I wouldn't hire me. Mm -hmm. Although I think if I was polished enough to get here, I must... I mean, you know better than I do. You used to listen to me. I mean, well, yeah, I, when I first heard them, I was confused, but I... <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. But I, I, I thought, you know, I'm, there's no comparison. Is I, I could at least hang some entertainment on this right away. It wasn't like three days later I'm going, well, I don't know. The first time I heard him, I went, this is interesting. Uh -huh. I got that reaction right away, and the rest was all gravy. Uh -huh. So you but, know, maybe I would hire myself. I don't know. But, but I think we should put it in an ad that's real intimidating and appeals to people in, you know, well, wait, medium to major have markets. Have you listened to uh, Kevin Matthews at all? On and off, and. I'll tell you the truth, uh, he, I don't know, yeah, but personally you, he hasn't done anything that's hooked me. Uh, like, like Steve, a lot We of feel the same way, sir, and we're going to bounce his ass out of here tonight. <laughs> a lot of times I turn people on to Steve, and if they listen to him for 15 minutes, a half hour, to, you know, Steve and Gary, they don't get the history, they don't get the feel of for what's going on, and that may be what's going on with Kevin, too. It, well, it, I think he's establishing that. I, I think it, I, I, I personally like him. I think, it, it, you know... I mean, I, to be honest with you, there might be some, a little resentment there because this is something that you want to do. And, oh, no, no, this you was know. a long time ago. I've given up that fantasy. Good well, I don't know. It sounds like you have an exact, but, but the point I want to make when we first know, he's heard... He's not for everybody, but I, I personally like him, and he's starting to develop his own history and background, and I think, you know, you got to cut a somebody tape. a little slack oh, at first. Yeah, exactly. of, of Kevin, there was something there instantly. Mm -hmm. There was something there. Mm -hmm. Not... I mean, I think Maybe. he'll admit that he's still groping a little bit and looking, you know, to find a couple of footholds here and there, and... But I, I definitely think of, I don't know of anybody more talented in the country right now.
than he is. Well, you know, I'll give you... With the know. exception of ourselves and John. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll allow you to be a judge of that because you really are... I mean, I think he, he is the best possible person we could have found. You know, it's one thing to be funny at a party or in your car with a couple friends and then to sit up here and try to translate that because I did radio for uh, five, six years before I met Steve. And if you heard... Any, well, you have heard if you've listened to this show. Well, I couldn't tapes. believe it. I used to listen to Gary on my way in. Uh -huh. And he would be Matthew Meyer and Moody Blues coming up, and I'm going to share an album it. with you. That, and then I met him at uh, uh, the very first loop party that I went to. Before I even started on the air, they invited me to a party, and he was like hysterical. I mean, I'm laughing my ass off, and I said to him, I said, how come you don't do this stuff on the air? And he goes, well, I don't know. It's hard that's, to come that's in how here the whole and thing do started. It. It's different. When you come in here and sit down by this microphone, it's much different, and it has to be brought out of you and you have to develop it mm -hmm. and i was doing cliff in my head and in the studio 10 years ago but i never did it on the air yeah. well it's hard to do you know i had i fought long and hard and i just happened to be in a very fortunate situation in detroit where i was able to win it gave me a bleeding ulcer but i did win the power and the autonomy to do that stuff and um so it's nice now to be able to you know pass some of that power and autonomy along to other people and i you know so. Well, thanks very much for talking to me. Okay. Take it easy. Right. Bye-bye. We have to. Of course, I always here. want to get credit for being Joe Pioneer. <laughs> from you, from Brandmeier, from, from everyone. Steve, that character plays well at King Dick's Fair. Hi, I'm Joe Pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Pioneers at King Dick's Fair? Where would Joe Pioneer? Uh, Long Grove, maybe. Long Grove, yeah. In the covered wagon. We'll be right back. The Loop, AM 1000.